Mmh. Ist lecker. Hello and welcome to Dining with Dan. Today we're going to be making Ingrid's Königsberger Klopse from Deutsche 83. Now as a new series, Deutsche 96, is coming out this year, I thought I'd make a dish from one of my favourite shows. What we're basically making is giant German meatballs, and what we've got here is 250 grams of pork mince and 250 grams of beef mince. And to this we're going to add two onions, two eggs, a bit of Polish mustard or zenf, this is optional, and 50 grams of breadcrumbs. For the sauce we're going to need a bay leaf, two peppercorns, now these may seem small but they do pack a punch, one litre of water, 30 grams of flour and 30 grams of butter, 50 millilitres of cream, I'm using creme fraiche, one lemon, and capers to garnish. Now in the show they were eating it with potatoes, and I'm all about show accuracy, because I'm totally not binging with Babbage. But to add an extra bit of Germanic flair, I'm adding a white cabbage. Now in a largest bowl, we're going to put the meat, dice one of the onions, and put it into the bowl, along with the breadcrumbs, one egg, the yolk of the other, use the whites for whatever you like, and a bit of that Polish mustard or zent. This is optional. A bit of salt and pepper, and mix it until everything's well incorporated. Divide the mixture into eight to ten little balls. Oop. They should be around the size of a cricket ball. Now in a large stock pot, put the water, the peppercorns, the bay leaf, salt and pepper to taste, and the other onion. Put that on to boil, and add the klopser. Probably realise that you may have chopped the onion a bit too coarsely. Leave that to boil for 20 minutes while we chop up the cabbage. Now if you don't like cabbage, you can use carrots or asparagus or whatever you like. Take the stock pot off the boil, fish out the little klopser, and strain into a jug or bowl using a sieve. Now what we're going to do is going to make a blonde roux. So put the stock pot back on the heat, melt some butter, and slowly stir in some flour culminating in this very lovely looking roux, to which we're going to reintroduce the water, squeeze the juice out of one lemon, the top tip, always remember to clean up after yourself. Another top tip, always forget to press record when you add in the creme fraiche and reintroduce the klopser. Stir and let simmer for another 20 minutes, plate up and serve. Now despite appearances, Kernigsburger klopser is an absolutely wonderful dish. I've served it on many occasions and on all of them the plate's been licked clean. The sauce is wonderful and very flavourful as are the klopser. If you want to impress your friends who also happen to be Stasi officers, this is the dish to serve. <laughs>